Hello. Having a look uh, today here at um, the Bull sliding gate operator, um, 24 volt uh, sliding gate operator by uh, Beninca in uh, in Italy. Um, a, um, one of one of the more uh, uh, high end, high high quality type operators. Um, we stock here in Australia the 424, being the 400 kilo, 24 volt, and the 624 being the 600 kilo 24 volt. Um, we will shortly also have the 1524, which will be the uh, one and a half ton 24 volt. But right now, today, we'll, we'll concentrate on the 424 and 624, with the only difference being the size of the motor. Um, out of the box, as you see it there, you, uh, you get all your manuals, um, one gate manual, um, uh, logic control board manual, warranty cards, things like that. Um, at the back there we have the um, the base plate. So the base plate comes with it and is included. Um, in the uh, in the front, in that plastic bag, there are all your um, limit actuators and uh, all your bolts and um, fasteners. You can see just there in front of the motor a remote control that's included with it. You can of course have as many as you wish. Um, one comes complete with the kit. And then of course the bull itself um, is, uh, is sitting there that's uh, um, basically ready to bolt down onto your, uh, onto your base plate as it, uh, as it sits. What we're going to do now is we're going to bolt it down to our test rig. We won't use the base plate, um, but we'll bolt it down to our test rig, take the cover off, give you a look inside, and um, and uh, we'll have a further look and then have a, uh, a bit of a look at programming and things like that. Okay, bolted down to our test rig. What we've done so far, you can see the key in the doorway there, the manual override. Um, we've had it in manual mode. We've got a rack to the right height. We've checked our operation sliding backwards and forwards, and uh, we're happy with that. Uh, limit actuators, you can see the, uh, the the limit actuator there on the left, and uh, that one's all set up, ready to go uh, to, to, to activate the limits. The control board does have a cover. I, I've removed that cover at the moment, so uh, it, it does have a, a cover which goes on there and uh, protects it from you know, things like insects and bits and pieces like that. The board comes all pre-wired, so there, there's nothing very much. You, you connect power, all we've done here is we've connected power. All the um, loops, if you like, the safety loops, things like that, are all pre-wired, nothing to do. Um, so we really, we will just go straight into, uh, into programming next up. All right, looking now at the control board, your programming is done by the three buttons there. Um, you've got uh, the middle button, which I refer to as the... Uh, enter button, we can call it the OK button, um, and you also have positive and negative. So the, the center button actually activates and enters things and, and um, you know approves entries, and the positive and negative above and below, they simply uh, cycle us through the entries. So if we press the button now, we're looking here at PAR parameters. We're moving through logic, radio, uh, reset, codes, uh, auto tests. Yeah, so you're basically cycling through all the different options that are available to us. So right now we've just gone in and we're having a look through some of the options that are available in Logic and we just turned off our automatic closing. So you would you would simply cycle, you could turn to on just by pressing on then pressing OK. We're back out, we're Logic Control, Radio where you put in your remote controls we can let's have a look at a parameter. There's our auto close timer. So we could change that if we wanted to. And it's as simple as that. You just cycle your way through, select what you want. What they have done well is um, we're just going to get, try programming. Yep. So we went into automatic, press push as it told us to, and it's now programming. If we back right out, you can see that what's happened is the gate has started to go through. It'll go through two cycles as it sets itself up, finds the parameters and things like that. I did make a few changes to programming. Um, I, I, for instance, turned off the encoder, I turned off soft start, um, just a few things which, 
you know, I didn't think were necessary on a, a gate like this. Um, you, it's, it's, it's a choice thing. You leave them on or you can turn them off. It doesn't really matter. Programming is very, very simple. Um, the structure is very simple. So we've finished programming and it's telling us that we have by saying OK. Shortly all we'll do is we'll press that OK button and that will take us out of that programming mode. We'll exit all together and we'll use our remote control to test. So we two, press the two, the up and the down at the same time, we'll exit out. And let's use our remote and give it a test run. Yes, I was saying that, that Beninka do things a little bit differently from most others in that rather than just putting all of the programming options just into one big pile, they actually separate them. So you, you've got your parameters, you have your, your logic control areas here. Parameters are where you might change a value, like your timer for your, if your auto closed from 40 seconds to 30 seconds for argument's sake. Whereas the logic is where you can turn the automatic close on and off Radio is where you put in your remote controls. Auto is where you do your auto setup. So as you can see, all running along quite nicely, quite smoothly. Very, very simple. Um, yeah, it's 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 and you know if you do get lost, you just simply reset the thing and and and, and off you go again. But it's pretty hard to get lost with this operator. Um, uh, it's um, good good value, top of the range operator. Thanks for listening.